Day 46 of the 100 pound, 365 day body transformation is here. I have huge news on the goal front. Let's go. Welcome everybody to day 46. Excited for you to be here. I'm excited to be here. If you're anything like me, the diet always starts tomorrow. Well, it's tomorrow somewhere. If you haven't yet, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Time for wait for the day. You know, if you watch yesterday's video, and if you haven't, I'd go back and watch it. I was getting really discouraged. I really was. I was feeling, my, I found that my discouragement comes across as me getting kind of feeling angry, you know? And so, but the previous two days to yesterday, I had stayed, I had plateaued and I didn't gain or lose weight, but yesterday I'd gained a little bit of weight. Little bitties. I was feeling really frustrated. Well, this morning I got on to the scale and I actually went down a half a pound. So that was awesome. I was so excited. My weight was 256.5, which is just such an achievement, I feel like, for what I've been able to do so far. I've lost 32 pounds Two. 32. 32. in 46 days. That, I just can't tell you how exciting it is for me to be able to tell you that because I felt like for so long I couldn't lose weight and to be able to do this has just really been cool. This experiment's really working out. Day 16 now of our current 30 day challenge. Wait for it. I hit the seven pound goal that we had set 16 days ago for our 30 days. That a boy. So I'm totally pumped by it. I'm gonna set a new goal right now. The new goal for this remainder of the 30 days is to hit nine pounds, not seven anymore. That's yesterday's news. Nine pounds is what we're gonna hit. So I'm gonna do everything I can. I'm not in control of the weight loss. I can only do my part in it and then my body's gotta lose the weight. So, but I'm gonna do everything I can to get that other two pounds off and we'll hit nine for the 30 days. So that'll be cool. I did do a good job yesterday on my eating. I stayed to the three hours of the eating window for our fast. The challenge was that I didn't get a start until late. So my goal was to stop at one, but I didn't stop until 2.30. So got it done, fasted, did everything I was supposed to. I just didn't hit my deadline of one o'clock. You keep missing your deadlines. Challenges. Do I have a lot of challenges? You really do. But our challenge this week is 10,000 steps. What I've been trying to do with the 10,000 steps is I've been trying to break it up more so it's not like longer walks, it's like shorter walks. Because in my daily doing work and doing everything, I just don't get 10,000 steps in. So what I've been trying to do is just get up and get out and do maybe a quarter mile, half a mile, a mile at a time and break it up. And so yesterday again, I was about 2,000 steps down at 8.30 p.m. Now let me tell you something, I was cursing the 10,000 step challenge last night at 8.30. Oh, Dude, you gotta stop cursing. I did not want to go out and do it. I, like I said, I gained weight yesterday. I was feeling discouraged. I got out, I did the walk, and honestly, it made me feel better. So I would suggest, if you feel bad, I'm learning, maybe go out and exercise, make it feel a little better. So I went out and I got that done. And the other thing that was really cool is yesterday I told you that it's so weird that I've been feeling sore and I had gone to a point where I wasn't feeling sore and then I was feeling sore again, less sore, but still feeling sore. Yesterday I didn't feel sore at all in my walking. So I was pretty in the evening time. So I was pretty excited about that. That was great. But we got it done, got the 10,000 steps done. That's an important part. Training for the Down Syndrome Walk and the 5K. It's all going good. I have been doing my walking routine, my cardio routine that we've been talking about. I've even up the off days a little bit just because I've had to get steps in and it just seemed like it was the easiest time to do it. So I've been doing a one and a quarter walk to more than I was supposed to. I was gonna have to get the steps in anyways and it's just that it's beautiful outside and nice and so I did it. So that's been good and I've been doing weight training and weight training's going great. I'm gonna do weight training today. I'm totally excited to get back in that gym and do it. All right, tip for the day. The tip for the day today is about what I'm eating and cooking and things and I have found in this adventure that we've been on so far that there's just some little hacks that I can do. I'm gonna show you one today. I'll kind of give it an example in the tip for the day of what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna show you in a minute because I'm gonna make a salad that I'm gonna use this hack on. When you're making food, if you can replace ingredients to make the food more healthy, you should do it because outside of this adventure, I was more interested in exactly how it tasted or that kind of thing. But what I found in this adventure is since I've been on keto and I've been fasting, is I think my taste buds have like changed a little bit or something because things that used to taste good to me, I, I don't think they would taste that great anymore. And things that I didn't used to like really taste good on keto. An example of this is on the salad that I'm gonna make today, the salad dressing calls for some 
olive oil and some canola oil. And what I've read is olive oil is like super good for you and canola oil not so bitchin'. I've taken out the canola oil completely and I substituted in olive oil and man, it tastes great. I love it. I can't tell the difference, but I know that it's way more healthy for me as far as I understand. Now I'm no not doctor, go and check with your doctor about any of this kind of stuff, but I'm telling you that from what I understand, olive oil is really good, canola oil not so good, and this olive oil hack is, I feel great about eating the salad and I'm getting quite a bit of olive oil in my diet now through this process. So anytime you can do that, anytime you can hack your food to make it a little more healthy, just do it, do it up. All right, time for the broccoli and spinach salad recipe. Usually if I want, I'll put bacon in this or I'm gonna use a hack with some crisps in a second, which is easier than bacon, but probably not as tasty. So what I do is, you know me, I like it nice and easy. So I go over to Trader Joe's or Costco and generally I can get some organic washed broccoli and I just get a bag of that. And I also will get some organic spinach. Now I prefer myself to buy at Costco because it's way cheaper. This is from Trader Joe's because I was in a hurry and needed it. So that's what I'm gonna be using. Like I'm not a big salad person. So what I've done is like with the broccoli, I chop up my vegetables and I don't know, it makes it more palatable to me and I enjoy it more. I do a pretty fine chop on the broccoli and I try to leave it in just big enough chunks where I get a little crunch. I like that and it makes it more interesting to eat. The texture is better. So I put in one cup of the broccoli and then I also chop up my spinach and when I do that it's a this is about the consistency and so I put that in and then I'm gonna make the salad dressing which I think really does make the salad on this is the salad dressing and my wife is the one who introduced me to the salad dressing I love it so I'll show you how to make that that's as easy it is to make the salad so there it is and now I'm gonna make the salad dressing and we've got a little hack for it too and I'll show you what that is Time to make the salad dressing. So if you have one of these handy dandy salad dressing makers, get it out. If you don't, anything with a lid on it will work because you're gonna shake it around a little bit in a little while. First ingredient we're gonna put in is three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. I have this balsamic from Trader Joe's. I enjoy it. It's nice and tasty for me. I put that little baby in there. Number two ingredient is gonna be five tablespoons of olive oil. Now the original recipe asked for I think like half canola oil, half olive oil, something like that, but we're gonna do all olive oil because I think olive oil is much more healthy for you. And I think this tastes wonderful, so why not do it? So there you go. And now we're gonna put in a tablespoon of this gorgeous Dijon mustard, straight from Dijon in the France, Paris. I don't think I've got a very good French accent, but there we go. And then it, it calls for a pinch of garlic. Now, you know me, <laughs> I like it easy. So I just have probably a quarter teaspoon of garlic to put in here. And I take it right out of this little baby. That way I don't have to get my hands all dirty or do anything else. I'm gonna wipe that off. Just make sure it gets in there. Get in there, baby, I like that mustard. So with that, then we're gonna put in a little bit to taste of pepper. I like pepper, so I'm gonna put a little in there. That's probably more than I usually have, but looking good, and then a pinch of salt. And I love the salt, especially on keto. So there's about a quarter teaspoon of that in there, I would betcha. Maybe an eighth to a quarter. Now what we're gonna do with this is the fun time starts. And I'm gonna make sure the lid's on there because I've done this without that and it makes a big mess, but I'm gonna shake it up. Oh, look at this liquid gold. Oh, I can't wait to eat this salad. Look at that beautiful salad dressing. So I'm gonna shake that up. Now, one of the hacks that you'll probably wanna know is that when you refrigerate this, the something in there gets solid. And I don't know what it is, probably the olive oil or something, but it gets solid. And so if you take it out maybe 10 minutes before you're ready to eat your salad, it's super easy to, it thaws out real quick and then you're in good shape. Time to add this beautiful salad dressing to our salad. Oh, it smells so good. You know, one of the things that I like to do with the salad dressing is if you're running low, if you make it the day before, it gives it time to really come together and things. It's great right now, but if you leave it in the refrigerator for a day and it really gets to, all the flavors get to meld, oh, it's fantastic. So we've got two tablespoons of this liquid gold. Some might call it liquid. Oh, look at how beautiful that pours out. Oh. I don't know, but on keto, like I think my smell is my strongest sense now is I really can smell well and it smells so good. Oh, does that smell good? I can't wait, my, my mouth is watering right now. Mmm, I wish that I could put like 
take a bath in this, it's so good. Okay, so I got that done. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in, I put a pinch, it's probably about a quarter teaspoon of salt on top of that. And I do that because I'm on keto and I need plenty of salt. So I do that, but it also tastes real good. And then all I'm gonna do is stir that up. And for me, what I like is I like it to be nice and coated and everything together. It's the right amount for me is two tablespoons. Now that's a pretty healthy salad dressing. So if you wanted to go more, you could certainly go with more, but I honestly have found for me, this is the perfect amount, two tablespoons. So I've got my secret ingredient and it's these wisps. Now they have other ones. These ones are the expensive ones. I won't buy these again because I saw at Costco, they have way less expensive and there's a little heat to the other ones. I will be getting those in the future. They're a different cheese, not Parmesan. But a full serving of this is one ounce and it's 150 calories. And the carb load on it at one ounce is one gram and there's no fiber. So what I did is I'm only gonna go a quarter of an ounce. It gives me enough crunch in there and a flavor and stuff. And so that brings my carbs all the way down to 0.25 grams of carbs. And so all I do is it's kind of fun. I just smash it up in there, make little croutons out of it. All of a sudden I have my salad finished. It's easy peasy. I've got great texture, all the rest of it. And I am ready to eat. So I'm gonna stir this one last time, get my cheese all mixed in there. Oh, so beautiful. And I'm gonna take a bite, get my, oh, that's a nice bite. It's got a little broccoli, spinach, and cheese. I don't know if you can hear that crunch, but oh my gosh, my mouth is going crazy right now. You can taste the, the uh, you can taste the garlic and the balsamic and the crunch of the Parmesan cheese. Oh, it is so good and satisfying. And also as you eat it, you'll find that the little pieces of broccoli are nice and crunchy too, and they're just so good. So I think that's a super healthy version of a salad and I eat it every day. I love it, I look forward to it. And the other thing you can do is, and I do this when I need more fat, is I'll definitely put in two slices of chopped up bacon and get that in there and that instead of the cheese and that also creates some texture and it's just really yummy. So there you go. Like and subscribe. <laughs> if you haven't yet, like, subscribe, hit the notification button and also, if you saw anything in our recipe today that you thought could be improved, please put it in the comments. I'd love to know what you're seeing. Check out this before and after picture. The first one is day one. The last one is this morning. I feel like I can see some major changes. I don't know. You let me know if you can. And if you don't see anything, let me know. So anyways, it was fun to be with you today. We'll see you tomorrow. Check out these other videos. I think they're a lot of fun to watch the progress.